Hi, I'm Kenneth Wajda. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photography talks. So today I want to talk about finding a good subject. So I mentioned a few weeks ago the Boulder County Fair was in town and I was photographing at it. But a week before, I live only a mile from the fairground. So a week before I saw the trailers starting to pull up and some of the ride trucks starting to pull up and I thought, oh, they're going to start setting up. I'm going to go over there and get them setting up. I like to shoot before things happen. I like to shoot when people are getting things ready. Sometimes the best pictures of an event aren't during the event, but before and after. And keep that in mind if you're shooting a parade or shooting a carnival. If you can shoot the before and after, sometimes that's where the real magic is because it's not the show, it's before the show. It's not the concert seen on stage, which everybody can shoot with their phone, it's the performer practicing down in the green room a little nervous. It's the behind the scenes that the audience never gets to see. So anyway, so I went out to the Boulder County Fair and I went to go photograph it and they still weren't setting up. The trucks were just sitting there and the next day they were still sitting there. And I saw somebody standing by a trailer. So I went over and I introduced myself and said, hey, when do you set up and what's going on here? And they said, oh, well, we're the carnies. We're waiting to set up. We'll be setting up soon. And I said, so where do you just live here? And they said, yeah. So I said, can I photograph you? And so one person didn't want to be photographed. Two other folks said, sure. Then they introduced me to some others. And it was a fascinating story because these carnies, which one of them explained that we like to be called that, they like, they're supposed to be called show performers or show runners, but they don't like that term. They like carnies. That's a traditional term. And it could be just them. Maybe other people are offended by it. But she said that, that we like carnies here. And she said that we travel with the, with the carnival. And they give us a place to stay. And we have these little bunks in this bunkhouse. And I asked if I could photograph the bunkhouse. And the bunkhouse looks like a trailer, like the size of like a large horse trailer. But instead of a horse stall, there are individual doors. And there's probably four or five on one side of the trailer and one or two on the other side. And these bunks are literally the size of a broom closet. And it's fascinating to see how people who are working for a living actually work. It's that whole behind the scenes of how do you get here? How do you make this work? They don't have a home. They don't have room and board and a rent somewhere else. They just have this and the room and board is included. And it was fascinating that to see how small of a space they live in and that they travel around and they love it. Or some of them are retired and are doing something different. There was one guy who brought his own 40 foot trailer and it had slide out walls and his living room looked like the size of my living room. That's how big it was. And I was fascinated by his too. So his was the opposite. He came in from Texas to run the slide, the super slide, and he brought his own trailer. The other people are riding with the carnival and they get the bunkhouses and they get the rooms in the bunkhouse. And what a great contrast. So then after I went to that and made a post for my Roy Stryker project on the Carnies, then I went out and I photographed the opening night of the, of the fair. And then I went out the night a couple nights later and I just kept adding to that story. And it's one of those things where like a lot of things, the more you go, the more you see. The more you show up for, the more you get and find. And it's such a great place to photograph because there's so much joy, there's so much energy, there's people running around, there's people winning things, there's people laughing. And I love documenting those kinds of human stories. That's a pretty easy, positive human story. And I shot most of it with a 24 millimeter. And I think one night, the night that I did the night scenes, I used to chop with a 50, my 51.2.
but most of the time it's at 24 and it's just I'm able to like do a whole series I did one whole series just on the food at the fair and the carnival trucks and the pop-up you know food trucks and boy none of it looks too healthy but in 50 years people will look back and go look at the way they used to sell food oh my god so anyway I'll put links to the photos below and all those different posts because there were several and I think that those are the kinds of stories that you can find especially if you start to look a little bit at the event but then around it and before and after that's where some of the magic happens that's where the carnies were all right that's today's photography talk have you shot anything behind the scenes whenever i offer to shoot at concerts i always say i'll photograph and i'll bring cameras if i can work and not shoot the performance i want to shoot before and after because that's where the magic is all right that's today's photography talk if you're enjoying these hit the subscribe button please and if you can support anything at the patreon is a welcome addition and thank you so much for all my supporters and we'll talk photography again next week all right here's the great photography good shooting and great light